What's up there, YouTube? How you doing? <clears throat> um, just want to jump on here and talk about the crisis that's going on that I've literally had people come on my live stream and say it's not real. Here's the deal. It's as real as can be. I'm talking about groups of people taking, a, and these people happen to be from down South America. They're Venezuelans. Uh, Trende Aragua, I believe is the name of the gang <clears throat> that they were talking about. There's reports of three different spots in the country right now that are having issues with this. Um, not everybody from Venezuela is doing this. So let's get this. I, I don't want to sound like I'm generalizing. There's gangs, just like we have gangs in America. You know, you have different, you know, the Mongols and uh, this and the, that and the Hell's Angels. There's gangs down there, too. They exist probably all over the world. So, But I've had somebody come on the live stream and just couldn't believe for a second that nobody is really, you know, coming in here with bad intentions. Well, that would be damn foolish to completely think that because there's good and bad in this world. And you know what? It's not really the Venezuelans. It's good versus evil. Uh, what I mean, it's not even a, it's individuals, individuals that need to be arrested if they're committing crime and need to be, you know, accounted, you know, they should have some kind of a, a I can't even think of the word, but basically our attorney generals up here aren't doing their job and just letting people go and you could commit as many crimes and do whatever you want in this country anymore and nobody's held responsible. That was what I was trying to say is there's no penalty for doing wrong. Go ahead and do wrong. As long as you're, you know, not uh, an American citizen, because American citizens, you know, they get hit with the hammer. You know what I'm saying? When they go in front of a judge, there's no leniency. You know, not that there should be. It should be justice for everybody. Same and equal. No matter where you're from, no matter who you are. We used to have a system that prided themselves on that. At least I thought we did. Maybe I, I was delusional back in the day, but so be it. Shouldn't we work forward then? If we didn't ever have that, shouldn't we try to make it that way now instead of leaning to one side or the other? How about just fairness and justice? Whatever happened, to just everybody gets a fair shake. I have no problem with that, but here's the deal. Um, breaking into the country, though, illegally, meaning it's breaking and entering like someone going into your house without your permission. Uh, every country on, on earth, you can't, as far as I know, I, I'd be damn surprised if there's any that will just let you walk across the border and not at least ask who the hell you are and, and you know, what your intentions are. So I'm just saying to the guys, that, there was uh, two of them on my live stream the other day, and I let them talk, and I was talking with them, and I tried to convince them otherwise the way they were thinking because... They made it sound like every American and MAGA and all these people are rotten. No, we're just people, just like some of these Venezuelans that came in here are not here to cause problems. Maybe some are, though. That's all I'm saying. And there's some Americans out there, maybe even under the label of MAGA, that are assholes, too. I'm willing to look at all sides of this thing. But the point being is is that we got we to gotta stop being so quick to just point out, you know, I can't even think of the words. Uh, but basically what I'm saying is we're, po uh, we're, damn it. Sorry, it's early in the morning. I didn't get my coffee yet. But what I'm trying to say here, if I can get my head, my brain engaged, is that it, we got to, we got to, we need a fair justice system. You can't come in and do a crime and not get held responsible. You know, and you can't even be here and do a crime, meaning it's happening on both on both people coming in and people that are already here. They're picking and they're trying to uh, race bait and or like trying to, you know, a cop goes and arrests somebody uh, who's a minority and all of a sudden it's the cop's fault. What happens if the minority person did the crime? Are you ever going to hold anybody responsible? I don't think the government wants to, for one reason, in my opinion, is that they want martial law. And how you do that? Keep keep uh, one side beating down on another side until the other side stands up and does something. And then you crack down. I don't know if you see the picture I'm painting, but that's where I feel we're going. That uh, 
our our government's got to change its ways and uh, actually do what's right. And being that there's so much corruption, and I don't think they ever will. Uh, I'm talking, again, both sides of the aisle there, too. There's corruption so deep it's not even funny. Um, the right and the left, same dirty bird, you know, right wing, left wing, same dirty bird. Anyway, I'm hopping off here. Have a good day, YouTube. And uh, serious, we need a, a fair justice system. That's all I'm saying. Have a good one.